Welcome to Truck and Travel. I'm Derek. I'm Kevin. And today we're gonna go over our numbers. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's that time of week again. <laughs> All right. But before we start, I want to say this is brought to you by ShopTruckAndTravel.com. And also, we want to thank our awesome Patreons. Ooh, Michael from Michigan and Tom W. Thank you very much. Big help. We appreciate the support. <laughs> yes, we do. And also, I want to say we are not bragging. Uh, this is just a way for us to keep our viewers updated that's been following our journey. And people that are looking into getting into expediting, uh, this is to give them a roundabout idea about what they might expect. But no two people are going to get the same results. I'm sure there are a ton of expediters out there that are doing way better than we are. And, and we don't even get these results every single week either. No, no. It's, there's so many factors that go into it. So The rates change, you know, like the stock market. So you could be watching this and this video is two years old and the rates are way better or they're way worse. Who knows? <laughs> or they're the same-ish. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to give our stats for the miles we did in the previous week. Cinnamon did 1,307 miles. Her... Uh, she drove four days last week, and her average for the four days ended up being 326.7 miles. And then the most miles that Simon driven uh, in a day's period was 480.6. Man, that is awful. Well, you the, did so good. The four, the 480.6, <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good in a day. There was this one day where I could have gotten a lot more, but uh, there was actually a fire. Um, was that this week? That was this week, wasn't it? What are you talking about, fire? That was on the highway that we got, like, stopped. I don't even remember. I oh, no, because you were sleeping. I think you told me, though. Yeah. Can't remember if that was this week. Darn it. <laughs> So I have Derek's numbers, and they're way better this week. Darn it! Well, I tried really hard, and then there's times where yeah, it's like a game for him. Like we're very competitive people, so. And also, my goal is, uh, <laughs> I feel like Cinnamon does better at getting sleep in the truck. She still struggles at getting sleep and uh, continuous sleep, but I feel like she gets more hours of sleep, and I feel like it's important that there's at least one of us that is uh, doing decent instead of both of us doing horrible for sleep. And so there's been times where I told Cinnamon to uh, end her shift early or whatever, you know. We just kind of, we work around it. Um, yeah, because we so. actually never don't use all of our hours in one week um, yeah. because of the routes that we run. And since we... We try and stick with a 12-hour shift each. Mm -hmm. um, but so. it's really important to me that I keep one of us, you know, fresh. You know, of uh, you know, we have a maximum of a 14-hour shift, and you don't always get to drive the maximum amount of time that you can during that shift because technically there's 24 hours in a day, and that's 12-hour shifts, so that'd be less than. <laughs> You know, usually you don't get your full driving in. So basically, if I've gotten a lot of sleep and Derek feels a little bit tired, he'll let me do more out, more um, miles if I can. Mm -hmm. Or if I need sleep, Derek will be like, go ahead and, you know, I'll go ahead and get on the clock early, you know, outside of the, our 12-hour schedule that we try and keep. Yeah, and I have uh, asked her to do that before. He has. Yeah, so, a couple different times. So Derek's um, total miles that he did for this week was 1,930 miles, point two. Um, his average was 386. Man, you beat me on both. Oh, and three! That, and that was over a five-day period, the average. And um, his most... Uh, miles that he did in one day uh, for this past week was 648.5. I'm pretty excited about that. That's awesome. And then the next day after that, I did like 630. So that's what really <laughs> got the average up. And uh, and a part of that was we're uh, going to Texas and we're kind of cut on time. So we was doing the speed limit, which if you know anything about Texas highways, uh, 
speed limits a little bit. We were going higher. under though, because theirs was like seventy five, and we were going well, yeah. seventy or. But I mean, like seven up north, you know, we're normally doing like sixty three. Yeah. 65. By the way, like in that whole area, when it's construction, it's like sixty five. When that's like you know seventies are normal, like in Ohio, and yeah. if it's construction, we have to go down to fifty five. So to drive in a construction area, well, there are certain areas where there's workers where it said 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along the path. But, but there's other but parts still, that like were they, like 65. They got like state routes where it's just single lanes on each side and you're crossing traffic or, you know, like you're like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And it's still 65 miles per hour. Yeah. You know, so it's pretty. That was, yeah. Crazy. But congratulations, Derek. You did awesome. Challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right here's a list of all the states that we picked up or delivered to we started out in ohio illinois tennessee texas and we ended up in north carolina where we're currently at right now so the total miles that we did for the entire week was 3,237.3 miles which i feel is pretty decent for us um uh for this truck for expediting i don't know how every other expediters are like how many miles they get in and whatnot but we've had a few weeks where we're under three thousand miles so yeah and i think this is a, a little bit more than last week but i think it's because we went out to texas you know we weren't mm-hmm. kind of staying in the one area that we usually do so and what really matters is uh what the track averages like pay per mile mm-hmm. and all that that's a big deal because right. i mean you don't want to be doing a dollar a mile, you know what I mean? But, yeah. All right, our gross pay for the week was seven thousand one hundred and thirteen dollars and sixty cents. Yay! Wasn't quite as good as last week, but still one of our better weeks. Yeah. And I'm definitely got nef- definitely not going to complain when we get in the seven thousand range for yeah. uh, the week. Um, I'm excited about that. Our goal is definitely to go higher than that always, but you know, we're definitely happy. Mm-hmm. Our loaded miles that we did for the week was 2,088 miles, which brought our loaded mile pay to be $3.40 per mile. Um, With all of the miles factored in, uh, deadhead and everything, uh, we still made $2.19 for all the miles that we drove for the entire week. So that's pretty good because I think that with some people, they don't even make that with the loaded miles. Right, So for that to be deadhead included... That's awesome. So something else I just wanted to say as a disclaimer is that the truck isn't always 100% right on all the readings and stuff. The but computer. The computer, yes. Um, so the readings that we got for the miles per gallon for the week was 10.7, which is not bad at all, um, considering. <laughs> I know whenever we had really heavy loads, like our miles per gallon when we did the truck and trailer would go way down and stuff. So this, it's so weird how light our loads can be. Um, I think one of the things we took was 40 pounds this week. Um, so it, it just, it's so weird to still have good, you know, miles per gallon for this. Um, and then according to the check computer also, the number of gallons that, um, we went through was 302 gallons and that doesn't include the APU or the TCU, um, which also, you know, uses the diesel. Right. So, and yeah, so the actual fuel miles per gallon is wrong. And, uh, the amount of gallons we use is totally off too, but I guess just gives you a gist of what the truck did driving. Mm -hmm. Um, one of these days we'll try to figure it out. Just haven't had enough time to sit down and add everything up. This is kind of just like the basics and stuff that we're we're giving. So, Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to give you an update on the bonuses our uh, fleet owners provide for us. The first one is uh, if we get 13 loads in a month, we get a bonus for that. And right now, like last week, we did four loads. This week, we did three loads. So we're at seven loads now. So the rest of October, we only need six more loads, and then we get that bonus, which is pretty exciting because Mm -hmm. I feel like that's pretty doable. Unless something happens to the truck or catastrophic you know we won't but it looks like we're probably going to get that all right the next bonus that our fleet owner provides for us is if the truck grosses twenty thousand dollars in one month and last week the truck grossed forty nine hundred seventy two dollars and thirty two cents this week 
And the reason why that's low is because we didn't include the days of September. Like, there's other, like, there was days of September in last week's working week, so that's why we did better. But this number is different because not all of last week was October. Yeah, we're just counting the October. October. Yeah. So. Because that's what works for the bonus. Right. And I, w I do want to say, you did say, you know, if we hit 20000 then we'll get, you know, the bonus. But once we hit 20000 whatever number we hit, we'll get a certain percentage of that as our bonus. Anything, it just has to be a minimum of yeah. 20000 and then So, up. yeah, 20 and above. So, mm -hmm. so anyways, this week we did $7,113.60. And that ends up being 12000 Eighty-five dollars and ninety-two cents that we've done so far. Yep. Not and so far. all we need for the rest of this month is seven thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars and eight cents. We can do it. Oh my goodness! I'll be sad if we don't do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> this like our our bonuses are so doable this month now, mm -hmm. since uh, the truck did so well, or well, since we did so well the first two weeks of October. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. This is going a lot better than hot shotting for us. I don't know. It just... Yeah. It, and everybody's different. We know that some people make hot shotting work and mm -hmm. everything like that. It's just... I like to think we were a little smart in getting out while we could, you know, when we realized us. that it wasn't good for us. Right. So... We, I feel like everybody has to make uh, decisions for themselves, what's right and what's wrong for them, you know. Mm -hmm. Some people would probably be better off in hot shotting than this. Don't just this go is... off of everybody else that you see on YouTube mm -hmm. or anything like that. Research it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just plug because, your own, yeah. you know, situation into the numbers and, you know. Just because we like expediting does not mean that you will like expediting. Oh, and one other disclaimer. Um, in case you aren't familiar with our channel or with our situation, uh, we are actually working for a fleet owner, so they pay for the fuel, they pay for the maintenance, the insurance, so we're not going to include all those costs and stuff when we do the breakdown. We're just letting you guys know... The gross. The gross, basically, of you know how we did and just an update on how we're doing. Yeah. So we just get a percentage of uh, the rate after the fuel surcharge is taken out of the rate. Then we get a certain percentage. So, and... We're really happy with that. It's a lot less stress, and they are looking for teams. They're going to. They're working on um, getting more vehicles, mm -hmm. and they'll be taking more teams sometime soon. So as soon as we get more information, we'll definitely share it with you guys too. So stay tuned. They're really good people to work for. Like, we like them a lot. We're very, very blessed to have them, and they don't have to even have any bonuses at all. And no. they offer us two different bonuses, and that definitely helps like tremendously. Oh so. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Don't forget, we do lives Fridays. We try to do them at Friday between 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And then, usually, if we can't, we're going to try to shoot for Saturday about the same time period. Thank you to our Patreon. Thank you, you guys, guys are so amazing, much. and we really appreciate it. Yes. And congratulations, Tobigla, on twins. Hey, that's awesome. Yes, congratulations. So exciting. <laughs> God bless you guys. Bye. See you. <laughs> no, don't do it though, this time. Or I when you first did it, it. When you first did it, I, I, I <laughs> felt like I was gonna, yeah, that. I thought about doing it, but as I'm turning, <laughs> there's like a van in front of us that's an expediter, so obviously we're not in a good place. <laughs> but at least it ain't 4 a.m. 11.43 p.m., which is still sleeping time, right? It's time. Time for some to go to bed. Okay, kitty. Now he won't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs>